Next thing you want to do is slide you in a two by four. What we have to use today is three foot tall wires. So you want to measure from the corner up to where you're going to make sure your cross brace is going to be within that three foot span. Okay. And you mark these to be cut off with the sawzall and about center ways measure from your wire should be 89 inches wide so you want to take half of 89 which is 44 and a half measure from the outside and mark this two before that's your halfway point Take you one of your two by fours and measure. This is going to be one of your braces. Three and a half inches, be an inch and three quarters wide. Mark that. Line those two lines up. Get your drill. Go the opposite side, toenail you in another screw. This will give you support. Go to your bottom. One screw right in the middle. That's all you need right now. Now take your saws off. Bring your, your two before out to the edging. Take you the other part of your two before. Should go right to the top. Take you one steeple, put in your crossbar. Take you two more of your screws, line it up. Toenail your two before in. You can take a, a piece of your scrap or cut you another piece of plywood or something and put on the back side to where you can adhere all this together, just screw it all together. You really don't need it, but if you'd like to do that, because there's really no pressure on this part right here. Now that we finish this up, we're going to do the knee braces. Take some of the scrap that you have. Go to each corner. Mark it. Go to your saw. And what you've done, you've, you've marked your angle for each corner.
Now that you've got them cut, get your drill and your screws. Set them into place. Make sure your edges are smooth. That way when you put your wire over later, it'll make it a lot easier on you. That's one corner done. As you can see, I've done got all four of the knee braces in. This add a lot of strength to your hoop house when you're moving it. And it also in the front, it also give you a place to anchor your rope to where you can move it. Now you can tie a rope either to the front or to the back or both. It depends on how your land lays on how you want to move it. If you're setting your hoop house on a, on a kind of a slope or grade, always start at the bottom of your heel and work your way up. Never at the top working your way down because your feces will be washing right back into your pants. So you want to go to the bottom and work your way up. Next thing we're going to do is start putting the one by two wire around the bottom of the hoop pin. 